Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from the Driver Success Channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So I'm here doing my first load. I'm picking. I'm I'm dropping off a load here at Amazon, but there is a very long line. It's kind of slow, and so I'm just waiting in line. And I figured that as I wait in line, I should do a video and answer two of the most asked questions by people that are coming into the trucking industry. So the first question that most people ask is um, where do truck drivers sleep the second question is where do truck drivers take showers from so I know I, I have probably talked about this in other videos but every now and then I want to revisit some of these things because I know that um, there are some people that are new to the channel so let's talk about the first questions the first question where do truck drivers sleep so basically speaking there are two types of trucks there is um, the day cab truck which is the one that you see me driving uh, with a day cab truck it's just um, a driver seat and a passenger seat nothing else um, and so for for those of us that uh, go home every day this is what we drive we drive what they call a day cab and then there's another kind of truck that is called a sleeper truck with a sleeper truck it has the driver seat it has the passenger seat but it also has a bed in the back. Now, some trucks do have one bed, other trucks have two beds. For example, most of the truck, uh, the sleeper trucks we have here at JB Hunt uh, are with only one bed just because uh, they don't have a lot of team operations. Some companies that have a lot of team operations do have uh, the sleep, uh, where you have a sleeper with two beds. We do have those here too because we do have some uh, team operations but uh, to answer the question is that truck drive I mean yeah truck drivers that go over the road sleep uh, in their beds now there are some companies that do provide hotels for their truckers but basically speaking most companies uh, do have a uh, sleeper trucks so that's where truck drivers uh, sleep they find a place to park and they sleep now we do have uh, what we call truck stops where we sleep uh, where truck drivers park uh, where they get fuel from when they need to fill up their tanks where they get food to eat and uh, those truck stops do have like convenience stores where you can be able to buy stuff that you can use on the road in case you need something like maybe you need medicine or you need a toothbrush or something small things like that you can be able to find them uh, from truck stops but in those truck stops they do also provide uh, showers so truck stops are really a good uh, convenient um, place for truckers to stop and take showers so uh, to answer the question is that truck drivers sleep in their trucks or in hotels and uh, they do take showers at truck stops now to talk about um, bedding because I know for those of you that are coming into uh, tracking, most of you, chances are probably at home, you have uh, a king size bed or a queen size bed. Um, when you bring your king size or queen size bedding to, tra uh, to tracking, those will be really, really big. When I was doing over the road, what I had was, uh, I don't remember exactly if it was a twin size, or a full size um, like bedding but based on the measurements of the mattresses in um, in the trucks i would highly suggest that you look into getting either a twin size either twin size or full size bedding what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put on the video i'm gonna put um, some dimensions so you guys can know what the dimensions are for the uh, for the beddings or I will even put a link underneath the video so you can go and check out what the dimensions are whether it's a Volvo Kenworth because I think I saw on I think it was the rider website where they had like a, a chart that shows you the dimensions of the mattress so I'm gonna put that in the link description so you have an idea and then you can go to either Walmart, Target, or wherever you can, uh, you get bed sheets, Amazon, and look for either. I think 
I think a twin size or a full size will be better than you bringing your king size or queen size bedding. The other thing that I would highly suggest is for the bathroom, uh, the truck stops do provide you with uh, towels and they do provide you with uh, a showering gel. But personally, when I was over the road, I used to take my own towel and I used to take my own uh, showering gel and my own like washcloth or sponge and in addition to that I also took uh, slippers because um, when I'm in the shower uh, whenever I would get in uh, in the bathroom I would love to change into slippers and take showers while putting on my my slippers so if 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 you really care about your hygiene and it's something that is important to you I highly suggest uh, that you go to maybe a Walmart or Target or whatever store and pick up slippers. They are, they are like, what, 10 bucks uh, for a pair of slippers and then uh, those rubber slippers, you can just put them on in the shower. Uh, that way you know that you are keeping, um, you are safe um, health-wise speaking. They do clean the showers, but personally I, I feel comfortable knowing that there is that other layer of safety. Uh, again, as I said, I also take my own towel and I will take my own uh, showering gel because um, it was just a preference that I had. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I think that's it that I wanted to share with you because I know that most people that are coming into trucking wonder about those two questions. Those are most of the questions that I get a lot from people that are getting into trucking where do truck drivers sleep and how do they take showers so hopefully that answers the question and hopefully the bedding and the showering stuff that I've given you that is extra helps you prepare better um, as you come into trucking I'll make another video I've already made a video I think about some of the things that you can bring into trucking but again as I said I know that some people are new to to the channel and so Every now and then I want to do some of these videos when I get a question, questions from people. So probably I'll, I will make another uh, video to share with you my take on other things that uh, would really be beneficial for you to, to bring out as you start uh, your tracking journey. But I will also try and see if I can find that video that I've already made and put it in the link uh, I'll put a link in the description below it will give you an idea of some of the things that you can take uh, that you can bring uh, out on the road as you start out in your trucking career all right guys I hope that does help you uh, if you have any questions don't forget uh, you can reach me at Moses at driversuccess.com if you have three or more months of driving experience and you think that JB Hunt is a good match for you, I would love the opportunity to refer you. All you have to do is send me an email, moses at driversuccess.com, uh, with your name and your phone number. Or if you, you want to go direct to JB Hunt, I ask that you don't forget to give them my alpha code, which is K A N M 8. Uh, give them my name, Moses, and alpha code K A N M 8. I know most people. Uh, uh, reach out to me after and they say oh I forgot uh, that's why I, I usually prefer that people send me that uh, information but I really appreciate if you you remember to give them my information or better if you send me your information when I, I get your information I'll hand it over to somebody and they will call you almost right away and they will see which opportunities are in your area uh, you uh, you will see if you want to take advantage of any of them and when you do take advantage of any of them uh, and you take your first dispatch they do uh, give me a referral bonus it doesn't cost you anything but it's a blessing to me all right guys until next time stay blessed and stay safe bye bye